Alright, welcome to question 10 in this set of tutorial. Okay, let us read out the questions. Yeah? Right, uh, this is the question 10 we have. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, question 10. Uh, referring to this figure, an ideal gas has undergoes two processes, AB and BC. Okay, 8 kilojoule of heat is supplied to the process AB and 4 kJ of heat is dissipated from the gas in the process BC. Uh, calculate the work done for AB and BC and also the changes in internal energy for AB and BC. Okay, so uh, information given. Yeah, first of all, you must uh, check the axis it has exponent uh, make sure don't miss out the exponent in calculation okay and it's in already in uh, si unit pascal and meter cube so no worries about the unit you can use the unit si unit already okay and then uh yeah a b is a isobaric process isobaric they have constant pressure constant pressure three yeah exponent five same pressure and BC have the same volume, isochoric process, same volume, uh, 0 0.04 meter cube. Okay, so this label is very important. Yeah, uh, this is the volume for A, 0 0.02 meter cube. Now uh, he also provides us the 8 kilojoule of heat. Okay, 8 kilojoule of heat is supplied. Uh, the word supplied, yeah? heat is supplied, uh, means uh, Q is positive. This is a heat, heat absorbed, yeah? Heat absorbed during the process AB, uh, yeah? So process AB, heat absorbed, and then heat is dissipated in the process BC. Uh, in the process BC, actually, the gas is being cooled down because heat is lost. Uh, heat is dissipated. Uh, dissipated, very important. So dissipated means Q is negative. Uh, negative, huh? Q is negative, heat is dissipated, process BC. Now calculate the work done for AB. Okay, so the work done for AB actually is the area under the graph. You know that? Area under this graph. Uh, so area of the area under the graph. Let us, uh, yeah, this is the one, the area under area under the graph is the work done for AB so let us uh, um, okay we need to find work done for AB and BC okay first of all I already list down uh, the information give us uh, AB is an isobaric expansion isobaric expansion so that isobaric means they have the same pressure constant pressure pressure A equal to pressure B which is a uh, 3 exponent 5 uh, you see don't miss out the exponent huh? don't miss out this exponent uh, exponent 5 any student miss out such important information okay um now uh yeah say so they have the same pressure 3 exponent 5 pascal and uh between process a b uh, there is a heat supply he say that heat is supply so q a b QAB is positive because heat supply is applied. Uh, positive 8 kilojoule, 8,000 joule. Okay? And then how about BC? BC is, BC is an isochoric process. Uh, constant volume. Constant volume. So volume B equal to volume C. Constant volume, which is 0 0.04 uh, meter cube. Uh, 0 0.04 meter cube. And then he say heat is dissipated. In the process BC, uh, heat, is, heat is lost in the process BC, so uh, heat is lost, so Q is negative. QBC is negative uh, 4000 joule, yeah? 4 kilojoule means four, negative 4000 joule. Heat loss. Okay, uh, it's good to write down the information here so you can see, can retrieve the information easily. Now, let us let us look at work done for AB. So how to find work done for AB? Uh, it is a red area under the graph, isobaric process. Area under the graph is a rectangular shape. Rectangular shape. So 
So it's the uh, you know the pressure, uh, the pressure, yeah, pressure times the delta V. Understand that? Uh, pressure is three exponent, uh, three exponent five, and delta V is uh, zero point zero four minus the zero point zero two. Uh, it is uh, yeah, uh, the difference, yeah, difference in or the length of the the length of the rectangular shape. Okay, so uh, so WAB is P times delta V. P times delta V is the length times height. Okay, length times height. P times delta V, rectangular shape. So the pressure times uh, delta V is what? Delta V is uh, because it's from it is from A to B. Yeah, from A to B. So we use B minus A. Yeah, B volume B minus A because uh, like final minus initial. When you want to find change in volume, we always find uh, final minus initial. Final is B, initial is A because the process is, you see, the process there, he already write down there, is from A to B. See that? Uh, the process is between uh, A to B. So it is final minus initial, which is B minus A lah. Uh, final B minus versus minus A. So this is the this is the VB and this is the VA. So we use uh, final minus initial. Okay. Uh, so what's the answer? Okay. Let's uh, let us uh, substitute. Uh, part pressure is uh, three exponent five. Okay. Uh, three exponent five. Don't forget the exponent. Exponent and volume B is what is volume B? Volume B is a uh, final volume minus initial volume. Okay, 0 0.04. Okay, already in meter cube, isn't it? Uh, meter cube. Uh, meter cube. So, uh, no need to change. The unit is already SI. So, volume A is 0 0.02. Uh, so, we got the work done. Work done. The rectangular shape. So the answer, the work done should you get is positive uh, 4,000 Joule. Uh, what does it mean by positive work done? Uh, positive work done means, uh, positive work done means work done by gas. Uh, that means expansion, uh, yeah, work um, by the gas do work. The gas do work. Work by gas. How the gas do work? It expand. Yeah, expansion, expansion or volume increase, uh, volume increase. Is it true? Is it true? Yeah, yes, it's true because you see that um, uh, from, uh, it's from A going to B. A going to B is expansion from 0 0.02 becomes 0 0.04. So the volume increase. Uh, you see that? The volume the volume increase. So it's a uh, work done by gas. Uh, the gas do work by expansion. The gas push up the piston. So positive work done. Okay? So this work done is this area. This area is a uh, uh, positive 6,000 Joule. Okay, that's work done for AB. Now, how about the work done for BC? BC is um, no area. You see? Where got area under the ground? Uh, no area under the ground, no area under the ground, so the volume is constant, no expansion, no compression, fixed volume, uh, no expansion, no compression, so the gas cannot do any work. The gas cannot do any work because the volume is constant. So work done is zero, uh, no area under the ground, uh, work done is zero. That's the answer. Now, uh, now I want to find the change in the internal energy for AB and BC. Uh, the change in internal energy for AB and BC, which is delta U. Uh, we need to find delta U. Delta U. Change in internal energy. We need to find this one. So for this one, we use the first law of thermodynamic to do. First law of thermodynamic, Q equal to delta U plus W. So we do AB. Uh, we, we have the equation for AB. We have the equation for BC. So when AB, remember to put the subscript AB for all, for Q, for delta U, for W, we always put AB, AB, AB. 
If BC, then we put BC, BC, BC. Okay? Uh, so now, do we have QAB? Do we have QAB? Yes. In our uh, information bank, you know, for information bank, we already write down QAB, yeah, heat supply here. QAB is a positive 8,000 Joule heat supply. Uh, and then do we have the uh, work done AB? Yes, we calculated uh, positive 6,000 Joule. So we can find delta U easily without worry. So our QAB is uh, positive 8,000 Joule. Just write it down. Our Q is positive 8,000 Joule. Actually, the positive sign, no need to write. I just write it for, for your understanding. Yeah, I just write it for your understanding, the positive sign. If negative sign, you must write. Uh, if negative, you must write the sign. If positive, not necessary to write the sign. Okay? And uh, delta U, I need to find delta U AB. And then uh, work done is the 6,000 Joule you got just now. 6,000 Joule. So what is my delta? What is my delta U AB? So my delta U AB is... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, positive. Uh, 2,000 Joule. Yeah. So, what happened to the internal energy uh, in the process AB? What happened to the internal energy? Uh, the internal energy is increasing. Okay, because delta U is positive. When delta U positive, the internal energy increase. The temperature increase. Uh, temperature of the gas increase. Become hotter. Okay? And that is delta U AB. How about the... Delta U B C, uh, Delta U B C. Then we use the first law equation for uh, B C. Do we have Q B C? Yes. In our information bank, we already deposited the information Q B C. Uh, uh, Q B C uh, because it says heat is dissipated in the process B C. So Q B C is negative four thousand joule negative Q. Negative Q because heat dissipated. Uh, so we have QBC. And then we do we have the work done, BC? Yes, it's a isochoric process. BC is a isochoric process. Volume constant, no area, no work done. Uh, so our work done is zero. Just uh, cancel out the work done, which is zero. Uh, so our our we uh, just substitute the QBC and we got the delta UBC. Okay, so simple, yeah. Uh, Q delta uh, the QBC is negative four thousand, and the delta UBC delta UBC is equal to negative four thousand joule. Yeah, this is a uh, a negative work done. Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, I'd like to put it red color to emphasize okay so what is it mean by um, negative de negative data u what does it mean by negative data u uh, that means the internal energy decrease uh, temperature decrease the gas become colder the gas become colder uh, do you see that the gas become colder so the in when the delta u is negative when delta U is negative, means the internal energy decrease or temperature decrease, become colder. So is it true this has happened? The internal energy increase and decrease? Let us look at the isotherm line. Yeah? Let us uh, once more look at the isothermal line. Uh, okay, we got, uh, the, we got the delta U is positive 2000 Joule. Okay, let us, let us write it up here. Let us write it up here. Delta U AB is a positive uh, delta U A B is positive 2000 Joule yeah 2000 Joule and delta U B C is what delta U B C is a uh, negative 4000 Joule negative uh, negative uh, 4000 uh, Joule so for process B C for process B C the internal energy increase or we can say the temperature increase uh, for process BC, the internal energy decrease on temperature decrease. Is it true? Is it true temperature increase in the process AB? Is it true the temperature increase? And is it true the temperature decrease in process BC? 
Let us check it out by using isothermal line. Isothermal line. So you see, um, yeah. Uh, in the process uh, AB, in the process AB, you can uh, draw isothermal line for maybe I like to draw, you know, draw uh, a dash line. Okay, so B process A, A B. Uh, a is on the on one isothermal line, on one isothermal line, um, and yeah, and B is at this isothermal line. Ah, uh, okay. So you can see uh, which temperature is higher. You see which temperature is higher. Uh, this is the for temperature A. Okay. Uh, so this is the temperature A and this is temperature B. Uh, so as the graph move to the right, move to the right, the temperature has increased. You see, from temperature A to temperature B. Temperature A maybe can be um maybe temperature A is only three hundred Kelvin, but uh, temperature B is uh five hundred Kelvin. Yeah, it can be like that. Uh, so yes, so process A going to B. If process going A going to B, this isobaric expansion, um, you are actually jumping from a lower temperature to a higher temperature. So yes, the delta U is positive is correct. That means the temperature did increase from temperature A to temperature B. It going to a higher isotherm line. From a lower isotherm line going to a higher isothermal line. Okay, that's good for AB. How about BC? BC actually, you see, it dropped to a lower isothermal line. Uh, C, I'm not sure C and A had the same temperature. I'm not sure, yeah, is it C and A had the same temperature, but I just draw another line for C. Okay, I just draw another line for C. Uh, yeah, this is for temperature C. Temperature C, maybe temperature C is uh, 400 Kelvin. Uh, you see that? Uh, C is at a lower isothermal line compared to B. So the process B go to C, B go to C, is you are dropping from a higher isothermal line to a lower isothermal line. So the delta U B C from B going to C, the delta U B C is negative. The neg negative delta U means the internal energy decrease, the temperature decrease, which is correct. The temperature decrease from 500 Kelvin to 400 Kelvin. It dropped to a lower from a higher isothermal line to lower isothermal line from B to C. The temperature decreased from 500 to 400. So which is correct? Delta U negative is correct. Okay, that's how we check the answer. Uh, so that's um, that's the okay um, about uh, the PV graph. Okay, uh, that's and that ends the question 10 and our series of tutorial questions. I hope you really like my videos and um, I promise that I promise that I will continue to do more videos for semester two. Hopefully can cover all the subjects, uh, all the topics in your semester two. So don't forget to subscribe my channel and um, uh, turn on the bell button for notifications and share the channel to all your friends. Okay, and thank you for your support and good wishes. Okay, uh, I will try to improve my lessons. And from time to time, as you can see, my videos has improved quite a lot. Yeah, and because in the making of the videos, I'm learning too. I'm learning too. So you learn from my videos. Actually, I'm learn from making videos. Yeah, you learn from my videos about physics. I learned of uh, making videos for physics. So I hope you enjoy the lessons and um, please subscribe and like yeah, my channel. Thank you for your watching. Thank you for your time. See you again in semester two. Bye.